Okay, so starting from the Pikmin Gallery, we head this way. I wonder who Cabot is. I was told to come here by a ghoul over in uh, Bunker Hill. Apparently, someone that I'm allied with is taking out something. And naturally, the building entrance is on the other side of the block. Whoa! Hello? Stay off the grass. Um. Yes, sir. It's like painting a huge sign on their front door. Run. Whoa! Whoa, whoa, whoa! I stayed off the grass. I was off the grass. Okay, 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 okay. Hello? 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 I was... Only opens with a key. I was told to come Not here. No way. But... Um, I'm expected? Let me in. Edward Deegan asked me to come Deegan, here. Deegan, that's oh, right. It's you. Very nice. It's very well kept. What is this place? What is this place? Better to let Jack answer that. Come on. Oh, man. What a lovely house. Jack, the new guy is here. One moment, one moment. I just have to. Oh. You'll be right with him. <laughs> oh, damn. Clearly, I'll need to adjust the mixture. Hello, hello. Welcome to Cabot House. I'm Jack Cabot. Um. Hi. What is this place? What is this place? This is my ancestral home. The Cabots have always lived here since long before the Great War. If you're asking what we're still doing here, with Boston in its current sad state, well, that's a story for another time, perhaps. Mm. Okay, well, you know, you are clean, and this house stands the best chance I've seen in a long time of getting a genuine shower, so... Pleased to meet you, Jack. And I am very pleased to meet you. Edward finds it tiresome, but I always like to know personally everyone who works for me. Please, have a seat. How about a drink? Edward, the good bourbon, eh? Please. Have a seat. Place um, more a museum than home. Okay. Uh, now, before we get down to business, I have a question I like to ask all my new employees. Is this really the time? Don't for... interrupt, Edward. The question is this: Do you believe there is other intelligent life in the universe? <laughs> like aliens? Because I've seen them. Are you talking about aliens? <coughs> UFOs and little green men? No, no. That's all popular hysteria. I doubt any of it has any basis in fact. Well, I'm you'd be wrong. I'm about the hidden history of our planet. The very origins of human civilization. Uh. Ancient powers that modern science, even at its pinnacle, could barely begin to comprehend. I've been to the bottom of a sacrificial hole. Hmm... You think aliens created human civilization? Well, maybe they should come back. Give it another shot. Yes, if by alien you mean a non-human precursor to the commonly understood founding cultures. Sumer, Egypt, Assyria. My father excavated a city in the Rub al Khali in Arabia, which he dated to more than 4,000 years before the rise of any known human civilization. Did he find the any alien blasters? The artifacts got one. were strange. Disturbing, even. Mm. Clearly not constructed for or by humans. Non-Euclidean geometry. I've spent my life trying to decipher what he uncovered. Jack, that would be the great old can ones. I tell him what I need him to do? I'm sorry, Edward. I just get carried away sometimes. You're sending him to look for the missing shipment? Yeah. Well then, 
I'd better leave you to it. We'll talk more about this some other time, when things are less rushed. It isn't important now. Welcome to the family. Um... <clears throat> Yeah, that's really about all I can say is, um... That was interesting. Huh. Good. If you like that kind of thing, you've come to the right place. That's part of the job, by the way. It's best to keep an open mind. Jack may be eccentric, but he's definitely not crazy. The job I got for you is simple. You know the old insane asylum you shot up? Parsons? There's an important package that went missing between there and here. I need you to track it down and bring it back to me. Any questions? Uh, what is it? For starters, what's this package I'm looking for? It's a metal case holding vials of serum. You don't need to worry about what it is. Jack needs it for his research. That's all you need to know. You should start at Parsons. We think the courier got ambushed as he was leaving the place. The guards heard gunfire in the distance, but we don't know exactly what happened. Check in with Maria at Parsons. She's in charge of the security force there. She can point you in the right direction. You all set then? Yeah, I've already killed the mercenaries there twice. Uh, I'm not sure they're gonna be happy to see me. I do have more questions. I have some questions. Shoot. So... Why would you guard it? Why does Jack have people guarding an old insane asylum? I don't mind you asking questions. As long as you don't mind me not answering them. Uh, if it was enough. important to what I was asking you to do, I'd tell you. In this case, it isn't. Anything else? Um... What is the package? What's this missing package I'm looking for? It's a metal case holding vials of serum. Uh, yeah, Are we up. good here? How about what happened? How did this package go missing? The courier got there and picked up the package just fine. But never got back here. Could be simple bad luck. Or it could be a deliberate ambush. That's why I'm sending you. It's important that you recover the missing package. You all set then? You sound like ghoul Clint Eastwood. Nothing else. Okay. They're expecting you over at Parsons. So you'd better get going. Alright. Well, we can do that. Um... Jack? Hey. Can I, uh... Say the word if you want me to take a look at that terminal. Jack? Jack? Are we gonna find out that you're the fucking reanimator? Because that... would be so... boss. Um... I mean, your equipment pretty much says that you are. Uh... But yeah, okay, so aliens, which uh, are the precursors to everything. Oh, it's you. Hey there. What's up, ah, man? you're back. Do you need something? Let's talk about your alien theories. I was intrigued by your theory about an ancient alien civilization. Actually, it was my father's theory. Now proven beyond doubt, although only to me, unfortunately. And there aren't many archaeology journals publishing these days. Are you building a machine that allows you to see beyond dimensions and into time itself? Discovering that we are surrounded by terrible, terrible things that as long as we don't know about won't bother us? Because I remember reading a story like that. You have proof. Enough to satisfy me. He only made a single expedition to the Lost City. But he brought back enough to show beyond a doubt the city he found wasn't made by or for human beings. Millennia older than the earliest human civilizations. But with technology that seems to have surpassed our own. And yet, everything about it is strange. Disturbing geometries. Tools not made for human hands. Carvings that hint at dimensions oh, beyond our Christ own. for Christ's sake. Oh. <laughs> so he found Relay. Yes? What was your father's theory? He believed that all of the earliest human civilizations shared some common parent that was unknown to history. Think of Atlantis. The myth of an advanced civilization destroyed by a cataclysm is shared by many widely separated ancient cultures. Eventually, he found what he was looking for. A lost city. 
buried beneath the sands of the empty quarter of the Arabian Desert. Um... Right, so... You said your father found a lost city? Yes, he spent years looking, and was widely ridiculed by the so-called experts. I'm ashamed to say even I doubted him. But in the end, he found it. A lost city, buried in the sands of the Rub al Khali, the empty quarter of Arabia. Um, okay. I wanted to ask you about something else. All right. How about the old asylum? What's going on at that old insane asylum? I carry out some of my research there. That's all you need to know. Um, give me a hand, man. The more I know, the better I'll be at my job. Well, I suppose that may be true. My father is confined in Parsons. For his own safety and everyone else's, he became dangerously unstable after handling an ancient artifact he found in Arabia. I've spent my life trying to figure out how to cure him. Any more questions? Uh... How about travel to Arabia? How'd your father manage to travel to Arabia with the world blown to hell? Ah, well, that was before the war, when he was a young man. Well, the war was 200 years ago. Come on, the war was 200 years ago. You know your history. Most people don't grasp how long ago the war really was. One of the effects of my father's illness was a slowing or arresting of the aging process. So, yes, he is well over 200 years old, as you suspected. Are we done? Uh... Quite a place you've got here. Amazing that it survived the war. Thank you. I try not to take it for granted. We were definitely more fortunate than most. Were you looked over by being It hasn't been easy keeping it up to pre-war standards, but we do what we can. Was there anything else? Nope, we're I've done. I've got to get going. All right. So when... So... Yep, okay. That, that's good. Uh... What sort of crazy ass shit are we gonna find? God, mannequins. More mannequins. It's always mannequins. Damn it. Hello? Am I safe? This must be Deegan's room. Yes? Deegan's kitchen. And the pantry. <coughs> So, if I were to press him on the Arabia thing, do you think that he'd mention the Mad Arab Abdul al Hazred? Or anything about the Necronomicon? Because it kind of feels like this entire thing is leading up to that. And honestly, the Parson State Asylum... It's basic. It's basically. Uh, it's basically Arkham Sanitarium, isn't it? This whole thing is just. It's just one big Lovecraft analogy. Oh shit! Hey, 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 hey! Be cool. Be cool. Be cool. All right. Be advised, you are being watched. All right. I'm moving along. Hello. Good day to you. Um. So. Wow. Okay. So. I'm. I'm going. I'm leaving. I'm. I'm gonna head head up to the insane asylum. I'm good. Um. Right. Hello. This place killed a is bunch of your guys. You'd best move along. Uh, no. That's, uh. Edward sent me? Edward Deegan sent me. I'm looking for a missing package. Oh. You're the new guy. So this package. Pretty sure we know where it is. 
The guys okay. that shot Ben are holed up in the Parsons Creamery. Just <laughs> north of here. Uh, an ice cream shop. That's spectacular. I really hope it's an ice cream shop. Raiders? Who are these guys? Raiders? Sure. Assholes with guns. Though it's weird that they're still hanging around so close. Kind of like they're scouting this place or something. I don't like it. I'm glad you're going to finally get rid of them. Oh, I am. Okay, well, I guess we'll check out the cream. Can you tell me anything Excuse else? Me. What do you want now? Uh, what is, what the is this package anyway? It's a metal case holding vials of serum. What is it? I don't know and I don't care. They pay the bills. I just work here. Are we done here? I like that that's exactly the same description that Deegan gives me. Uh, what is, what this, is place? this place? If Edward wanted you to know, he'd have told you. Oh, for fuck's sake. All right, Nothing we're else. done. Okay. Right. So. Where am I headed now? Oh, nowhere. Just. A creamery. Because that makes sense. I wonder if the death claws have repopulated the Lynn Woods. That'd really suck. Oh, am I gonna be able to get out of the wall? Yeah, I can get out of the walls over here. Nick, you still with me? Yes, good. Alright. So we are stuck inside a Lovecraft story. Anyone up there? No. Of course I'm stuck behind a tree. Package? Hello? Anyone? Mysterious syrup. Totally didn't look at what the mysterious syrup was. Alright, I'm gonna have to do that in a minute. Would she? She iced someone. Ah, oh, she iced this guy. Anything else? Surprised. 
Uh, let's check out the dead guys. Nick? Still with me? Bolstering leather duck. No idea what that is. Oh, there's one more, right? I'm sure that I got four of them. Ah. Alright. Well, that, uh, does that. Just, yeah, so my earlier suspicions about there being weird stuff, you know, that not necessarily just being an Art Deco monstrosity, but being an actual representation of an actual monstrosity, might not be entirely off base. What the hell is the mysterious serum anyway? Holy shit! Minus 36,000 rads? That can't be right. Strength 5, damage resist 50? God, it's like Hulk formula. Hello! I guess Edward knew what he was doing when he hired you. Oh, well, yeah. <clears throat> you better get your ass on back to Cabot House with that package. Edward's not as patient as he seems. Alright, well... I'd at least like to check out... Damn it. Still can't go in. I want to go in. But I can't. Back to Cabot House. I guess being set in New England, there is a lot of license that can be taken and a lot of genuine reason for attaching as much Lovecraft imagery to this as you possibly can, but honestly, it gets creepy after a while. And this Cabot guy is going to turn out to be some sort of terrible, terrible, terrible monster. And then I'm going to have to fight yogg -Sothoth. And then I'm screwed. Alright. We are back at Cabot House. We're going to deliver the mysterious serum. It doesn't really seem to have any personal boundaries, you know? Every time I show up here, it's just... Not even here. Every time I show up at the front door of the house... It's not acceptable. Imogene is missing and I want her found. She's not missing, Mother! Do you know where she is? Whoa. Did you find out what happened that to the courier? Is missing and I want uh. her found. What else is Edward for if not to keep the family safe? Mother... Edward has better things to do than sending someone out to find Imogene. Again. If your father were here, he'd send someone to find Imogene. I'm not going to have Edward drop everything just because Imogene decided to take a lover again. Jack, how Jack. dare you speak so disrespectfully about your sister? Um... I can't believe you don't care what happens to your sister. So she where'd Mom come from? She know where she went. She would have told someone. Bathroom? Bathroom. I can't bear to think what might be happening to Imogene right now. Mother, will you let it go, please? Yeah. I insist you send someone to find Oh, for Imogene. God's sake. All right. Yeah. Take Let's your talk. time. Uh. Just some raiders that ambushed him. Hmm. I don't like raiders operating so close to Parsons. I hope this isn't the start of something serious. What about the serum he was carrying? Did you get any of it back? Uh... Yep. There was only this one vial left. Oh, good. I was afraid we wouldn't get any of it back. Here's your pay for the job. I'm throwing in a little bonus for bringing back the serum. That was good work. Now, as far as what's next... Oh, hell. I guess it's time you met Wilhelmina. Jack's not going to be happy about it. 
Come on. Um. This is more a museum than a home. Maybe even lying dead in a ditch, and you don't even care. Mother, will you let it go, please? Jesus. Jack, I'll take care of it. Mrs. Cabot, don't worry. I'll send someone to find Emma Jean. Thank you, Edward. Well, your son's obviously crazy. You. Why can't you be as devoted as dear Edward? <sighs> You shouldn't indulge her, Edward. It just makes her more impossible to deal with next time. Just doing my job. Speaking of which, here's all we got back of the last delivery from Parsons. Raiders got the rest of it, I'm sorry to say. Ah, oh, good. Finally. This will help settle Mother down. Emma Jean is Jack's sister. You probably figured that out yourself. Yeah, I was She's, listening. She's, uh, a little flighty. Impulsive. From time to time, she runs off. Usually with a new boyfriend. Then I send somebody to bring her home. Uh... Great. The sister's even crazier than Jack. She's not crazy. She just wants the world to be a different place than it really is. That's kind of crazy. I don't crazy. know where she's gone, but I can give you a place to start. She's been spending a lot of time in Good Neighbor. At the jazz club there, the third rail. Somebody there must know something. She's not known for keeping her mouth shut. <laughs> uh, trying to tell me something about her? So what if she won't come? What if she doesn't want to come home? Obviously, as one of the family, you can't just knock her in the head and drag her home by her heels. Usually, by the time I send someone after her, she's gotten bored with the whole thing and is ready to come home. I'm sure you'll think of something. You're supposed to be resourceful. Remember? Hi, Jack. Can it wait? I was just in the middle of something. Uh, yeah. I've got to get going. All right. How about you, ma'am? Hey. I just can't bear to think what might have happened to poor Emma Jean. Why does Emma Jean do this to me? My God. Are you, are you drugged out of your mind? Jesus. Um. All right. Well. To uh. To good neighbor. All right. Well. Good neighbor. Uh, we're gonna need to go to ah uh, the third rail. Great. I think this is the optional part of the quest. Trying to track down Imogene. I wonder if she'd want to, she'd want to be a stepmom. These guys are what, like 200 some years old? I mean. Hmm. Hello? Who? Yes. Yeah. Maybe, Boy, maybe it's you. We got beer. If you ain't buying beer, you ain't buying. Uh, I'm not buying that. Uh, how about Imogene? Yo. Do you know Imogene Cabot? Name rings a bell. Kind of balmy. Haven't seen her in a while, though. Try Magnolia. She likes to make friends with people. She might know more about this missing bird. Magnolia! This guy wants a word! Uh... Okay. I didn't mean to interrupt your set. Sorry about that. Hi. You're looking for me? What can I do for you? Um... Imogene Cabot? Do you know Imogene Cabot? Imogene? Sure. I know her. I haven't seen her in a while, though. Were you a friend of hers? Um... She's missing. She's missing, and her family's worried about her. <laughs> well, I'm glad somebody's looking out for her. She seemed like a body that could use looking after. Really? Hmm. Please? Please, tell me what you know. There was this preacher fellow who used to come in here all the time. One of the slick ones. Always going on about remaking your life and so on. Oh, God. The customers wouldn't give him the time of day. But Emma Jane, she latched on to him for some reason. I don't suppose it hurt that he was easy on the eyes. Mmm, intense. Some women find that irresistible. How about you? Pam, would you come over here a minute? Ham? Is there a problem, Miss Magnolia? No, this 
fine gentleman here was just looking for Emma Jean. Do you happen to know where that preacher fella came from? Hmm. Brother Thomas? Yes, that's right. The one Emma Jean was always hanging on. Had to throw him out. Wouldn't stop bothering customers with that salvation. Ah, uh, he's going to be one of the pillars of community, on and on isn't he? About joining him at the back bay. Then he'd shove those stupid flyers in your face. Here, I kept one of them, just in case he didn't pay his bar tab. Mm. Well, thanks, honey. You yep. big help. pillars of the community. You, miss. I hope Evan Jean's all right. I didn't much like the idea of her going off with that preacher fellow. You again? It's my lucky day. What do you need? Mm. More about you? What's your story? How'd you end up singing here? Oh, I flew into town like any songbird does, on a heavy wind with a wounded wing. Mm, well, this place has a stage I needed to sing, and Whitechapel Charlie needed customers, so here we are. Was there anything else? As a matter of fact, I could steal you away for an evening. I don't think that would be a good idea. Something else I can help you with? Oh, I was just a one-night stand. Nothing. I'll leave you to it. Don't be a stranger. Well, like I said, uh, yes. Last time we hung out together, if you find that you happen to be in the process of providing a uh, half brother or half sister for Sean, let me know. I'm out.